A big win for India. A court in the United States has granted permission for the extradition of 2008 Mumbai terror attack accused Tahawur Hussain Rana to India. He's a Pakistani national served within the Pakistani armed forces, immigrated to Canada and then has Canadian citizenship but plied his wares running an immigration business in Chicago and he is seen to be a close associate of David Coleman Headley. The U.S. has allowed the extradition on India's request. Tahawur Rana, Canadian businessman of Pakistani origin, being sought by India for his alleged involvement in the 2008 Mumbai terror attacks. India had filed a complaint on the 10th of June 2020, seeking the provisional arrest of the 62-year-old Tahawur Rana in order to facilitate his extradition process. The Biden administration has expressed support and granted approval for Rana's extradition to India. Now, India's anti-terror agency, the National Investigation Agency, or the NIA, is probing into Tahavur Rana's role in the Mumbai 2611 attacks carried out by Pak-based lashkar e taiba terrorists in 2008. The NIA has said that it is ready to initiate proceedings to bring him to India through diplomatic channels. During court hearings, the U.S. government attorneys are... Uh, Attorneys argued that Rana was aware that his childhood friend, Pakistani-American David Coleman Headley or Daud Jilani, was involved in Lashkare with the Lashkare Taiba and that by assisting David Coleman Headley and affording him cover for his activities, he was supporting a terrorist organization and its associates. It was said in the court hearings that Tahavur Rana knew of Headley's meetings and what was discussed and the planning of the attacks, including some of the targets. The U.S. government asserted that Rana was part of the conspiracy and there is probable cause that he committed the substantive crime of commission of a terrorist act. We are in very regular touch um, uh, with the U.S. authorities uh, uh, to ensure that uh, there is speedy and early extradition of the Varana. We have all seen the, uh, the judgment which was given uh, by, the, by the local uh, U.S. court there. That conversation of ours with the U.S. side is continuing. Arunima now joins us live. Arunima, what happens next? Is the extradition path to extradition cleared or are there further judicial hurdles? See, Rana does have two more appeals left. He can appeal in a higher court still. Uh, but uh, even then, uh, the National Investigation Agency, the legal team, which was assisting the NIA and uh, the Indian Diplomatic Corps, they're all very upbeat for two reasons. If the Babu Rana indeed is brought to India and faces trial, this is the first time uh, that the U.S. court is actually giving the thumbs up for extradition of a, of a terror accused. This is also the first time that there is a possibility that one of the foreign base 2611 conspirators could be brought here to India to face the, the law of the land here. Headley entered into a plea bargain. Uh, Hafiz Singh, Zakiru Rahman, Nakfi and all the Pakistani conspirators are enjoying protection of the Pakistani state. So in that sense, about Rana's uh, extradition possibility is a big win. Second, what officials who handle this matter also tell me is that the, the entire process has been a huge learning experience. In 2018, the U.S. Uh, administration had rejected upfront when Indian government uh, officials presented the evidence against Rana. So over the last uh, five years or so, we have actually recalibrated the way we internationally present our evidence. Also, the evidence against Rana has been appreciated prima facie by the U.S. court because the India-U.S. extradition treaty is very clear. Only if prima facie a case is made out, will extradition be allowed. So now that the go-ahead has come from the U.S. court, we can actually tell the international forum that Pakistan, which says we can't send Hafiz Saeed and Zakiru Rahman luckily because India is not giving evidence enough. For them, this court, the way the court order has come and what they have said about Indian evidence is a huge boost for India. Yes, and that makes our case stronger with vis-a-vis -vis Pakistan and their narrative overall. But how soon Tahavur Rana comes is a big question. Arunima, thank you for your inputs. We'll continue.